Hello there, fellow humans, and welcome to another gambling, I mean, shop review in World of Tanks Blitz. And obviously starting off with a reminder to open your game daily to get your parts for the STRV-81 so you can obtain that vehicle for free. Well, it ain't the best tier 8 medium premium that is in the game. It is good enough to grind you some creds. There is a T-55A Droll. The most hilarious thing about it is that the 55A actually looks nothing like it does in this promotional image right here. Besides that, the T-55A is not worth your money and therefore not even worth the draw at all. Then we also have the lottery machine and we all love gambling, don't we? And what inspired you to sell more gambling crates? Money! The draw for the MX-30B. Now the MX-30B used to be pretty awful, but Wargaming has elevated it to a lever that is quite solid, and it could be worth purchasing. However, I would definitely recommend waiting for it to be sold for a reasonable price, like for example a Christmas auction where vehicles like this can be available for as low as 12,000 gold. Rather here you have to gamble. In a draw, basically, you're almost guaranteed to get the vehicle in the last spot, so you pretty much have to buy all of this. And then we have the resources this time, we have the good section of resources, right, that include gold and also times fives that are very useful grind tech trees with. Basically, something like this. This is good enough. You get yourself two tech trees, full 100% crew, and a tier 8 premium tank as well to grind you the credits that you need. And you also have the free XP and the XP boosters right here. Get you even more of that goodness. So, these, if you need the stuff in it, and that's... And a question you have to answer yourself. Do you need the stuff? Do you want the stuff? Can you afford the stuff in that case? These can be recommended. But things like this, buying creds, not really worth it. Like in a bundle like this, I would rather see, uh, let's say, 90 days of premium without 10 million creds. Because you can earn 10 million creds in like 2-3 days if you play a lot. And uh, I don't think they're really worth buying. 10 million, it's enough for 1 tier 10 plus equipment. So not really that great to be honest. I would stay away from the bundles that include creds. Personally, then we go into the tank section and here, is, is this actually for real? Okay, I'm, I'm just not gonna question anymore, but 7,500 for a Type 59 is very funny. That That's it, it's very funny. Now, the good thing is this bundle together here, it is at a solid price. So maybe World Gaming has listened and strain away from this absolute abomination that's 13,500 and now went to 9,000 so the price here is pretty solid for the two vehicles that you get type 59 really mediocre not really that great but it works sort of in Lorraine you need a, to be a very good player to extract the maximum performance out of this obviously it doesn't have any armor it has a four shot auto loader with 225 alpha damage so quite difficult gun to pull off as well 9k gold if you're a tank collector um, if you're a very good player, you want to challenge yourself with two vehicles that might not be the best, but that are interesting. This can be a solid pickup for the price. See, this is this is how it's done. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm okay with that. Object 260, terrible tier 10 collector, not worth it whatsoever. Chieftain T95, uh, this vehicle was sold for 6.5k at some point in, in a solid bundle. Now, obviously, the times fives here are uh, going to be locked, locked to the vehicle. Emoji light. These are all just fluff to make the bundle price higher. They don't really add any value, in my opinion. You know, like uh, animating an avatar. I would much rather see this bundle be, let's say, 6,500 and then we remove the emoji and the avatar and things like that. But unfortunately, this is the way we're heading. So, this 8.5k, not worth it. Not a good price for that vehicle. It's a okay enough tank, but not worth it for that. The HWK 30 is utter trash. The old proto is fine. The M60, it's just a waste of money, essentially, because it doesn't even have premium credit coefficient, uh, which means that you're just basically buying an M48 pattern with marginally different stats. We have to have a look and compare the vehicles in here, right? Like, an HWK for 8.5k compared to a Lorraine for 7.5k. The Lorraine wins any day, any time. And remember, the tank prices also compare to each other. If you sell a worse tank for more gold, that's a pretty damn bad offer. Camels are a waste of money, you know that already. Open your free crates, because you can get stuff like this, which is very nice. Free stuff is always nice, but lockboxes are, as always, awful. And regular crates are, as always, also awful. Emotional damn! 
damage. In the ever continuing tradition of adding even more gambling to the game, there is going to be a complete lottery event for the anniversary of World Tanks Blitz. What a way to celebrate something, 10 year anniversary, with something that is gambling. That is wonderful, isn't it? Now, what basically is in here, you get one of the balls. If you haven't claimed your ball yet, then claim your balls in the shop section and the possible winnings is 250, 250 to 10,000 gold, a magic container or alpha predator certificate. Obviously, most of the balls are gonna contain 250. That is gonna be clear. Um, and then also there's a couple extra prizes that you can uh, get for 100,000 gold. Hey, look, uh, an avatar and a profile background that are actually worth something. That is very nice. Now, how does it work? Again, get your ball. You got 48 of the balls. And then there are three special balls as well. Obviously, the more balls you buy, the more chances you're going to have at getting the uh, Alpha Predator certificate or the Mega Container. Because only one of them is going to have these special things in them. And 40 of them are going to be 250 gold. So, that sucks. Claim the free STRV81. It's a slightly upgraded Centurion 1, so I highly recommend. Claim it. It's absolutely worth getting. Log in for 10 days. Put in your calendars. Then we got the last thing down here, and that's the diamond glory balls. I would love to have diamond balls as well. Two heavy metal balls together? Yeah! Anyway, there's three special diamond glory balls. Again, that's where the profile backgrounds are in. The drop chances for these are impossibly low, so don't even try to get these. And then... Uh, Basically, there is also a chance for the Lorraine 50T in here, which I will be talking about in a minute. But a quick summary, it's an AMX M454 tier lower. And then also all the lists, the rewards here from the first ball are again these vehicles. 10 most wanted vehicles in the game. Well, I mean, I, I can assume that the like the object's a good tank. The Caliban's a meme, it's not good. The WZ120 is a very good tank, it's definitely worth it. Forest Witch is a joke. Smasher and Annihilator, obviously they're sort of OP. The Kuro is absolute garbage. Uh, the 114 SP is a waste of space. And the XM, it's a pretty damn good tank destroyer, but if you have the T124, there's no need for that thing. So you got the profile background. And the third one, that's the Avatar. But again, the rock chances for these are zero point. Jeez. Now let's enjoy a battle in the Lorraine 50T as long as we still can before it also gets turned to gambling. I mean, then again, the matchmaker already is a form of gambling, but at least that's free for now. Lorraine 50T. It is very similar to the MX M454, basically. But if you ever could obtain this vehicle for real in the shop for real money instead of gambling it for like 0.02% or something like that, which is, again, ridiculously low, and just assume that you can't get it right now, because you can't get it right now. Let's have a look. If this vehicle were in the shop for real, would it be worth considering, yes or no, for, let's say, 15,000 gold? That's what we're gonna do. Now, here's the thing. It seems quite solid so far, compared to the M4. DPM is the same, penetration is the same, alpha damage is 60 lower, uh, the weapon handling is much better, including 10 degree of gun depression compared to the AMX's 8. The mobility is basically the same, the AMX reverses faster and has 2 kilometers an hour more forward speed, but you're not going to notice that too much. And the AMX has a lot better armor. So, basically, lower alpha damage, lower armor, same mobility. 2% difference, you're not going to notice, so for the sake, we're going to say same mobility, because you're not going to notice on the battlefield. Like, 2% difference, you're not going to notice that in basically any tank, in any 2% difference in win rate, accuracy, whatever, you're not going to notice the difference. So, with that said, the thing is, if you already have the M440, uh, the M454, or the M449 for that matter, because that one's also very similar, it's not as tall, but similar-ish playstyle, there's no point for this one. If you're like, if you're a collector, and you like collecting them, and you would have had this, what could have been a tech tree, and a pretty good tech tree, then hey, it could be worth it if it comes in the shop, because in terms of its performance, it's a solid tier 9 vehicle, right? But that brings its problem. It's a tier 9 vehicle. You don't do as much damage as tier 10, you don't get as much credit as tier 8, or tier 10 really, for the most part. Um, but if you can perform really well in this vehicle, 
I mean, if you can do 3,000 average damage in it, you're going to get more crits anyways. Who cares about that? And uh, probably most people that buy tier 9 uh, don't care about making crits anyway. So in this case, it could be a useful addition to the garage. Uh, I don't think it's as uh, potent as a uh, Object 752, for example. At least not as necessary, really. But it's a solid enough vehicle that you could consider buying it if it were in the shop. Problem is, it isn't. It's not. No new tank is ever worth buying in the shop. Ever. And it saddens me. Because there is no value in a vehicle being new. At least a tank not too good it's not too bad it's very well balanced it's gonna fit right in to the game if you're an m4 54 enjoyer might be a useful addition to your garage eventually once it's available for real money that isn't a complete ripoff but um for now well i'll have to say the same thing that i say about every single new tank price is absolutely disgusting so with that said, what do you think about the whole new event? What do you think about the gambling lottery? I mean, kind of a redundancy there because lottery is always gambling. But what do you think about the gambling? What do you think about the Lorraine 50T? Put it down in the comments. Let's talk about it because discussion is important. I'm not here to have my opinion be the be-all and end-all. I want you to tell me what you think about all of these things as well. Let's talk about it down in the comments. As always, see you in the next one. Goodbye.